Major, thank you. And in just hours, classes will resume at a Kansas City high school where staff just cannot seem to keep the peace. Before the holiday weekend, fights for students at Southwest Early College campus to leave through what they're calling a controlled release after a school lockdown. That's where we find Lindsay Shively live with the latest. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Curtis. And any day now, we're expecting more charges to be filed from those fights. Let's take you back to Friday when all of this happened. We found out about it after a parent told us she got a text from her son inside this school just after noon that says he saw snipers inside the school. But when she rushed here to SWEC to try to get him or find out if he was okay, it was already locked down. They had 20 police officers and security guards. They were keeping outsiders from causing more trouble inside because apparently a group of outsiders had done just that, making a rash of fights much worse with bringing in another disturbance from outside to inside this school building. Now, four people had to be arrested and staff had to suspend at least one student for a week for his part in the fights. An uncle of one of the students involved in the fights told us he does not believe these fights are gang related. Nine times out of ten, it's probably turf war. You know what I'm saying? Somebody went to this school and that was from another set. And they found out that from another set and they start tripping and stuff and then fights and guns and all that got involved. So again, a group of outsiders uh, making this a really more difficult situation than it already was. Now, Martin wishes SWEC would offer better security measures like metal detectors, things like that, so his nephew would be better protected during school hours. His nephew, again, one of the kids involved in those fights. Law enforcement has been called to SWEC nine times since school started. That was August 19th, and that's on top of the dozens of times they were here during the previous school year. We're live, Lindsay Shively, NBC Action News Today.